Okay, so I'm going to be doing the testing of uh, a couple of locomotives using my old uh, Hornby controller. Uh, which dates back quite a number of years, but it's been very reliable. But with the advent of um, coreless motors becoming more uh, commonplace, especially in uh, you know smaller compact locomotives, um, the old controllers just don't work with slow running on coreless motors. Um, so I'm going to test uh, a couple. Uh, the first one is the Acura Scale uh, Liverpool Street Pilot, uh, the J69, uh, which when I reviewed it a couple of weeks ago, um, I was then unable to get the thing doing a crawl. So just, I'm going to use the old controller first on a couple of locomotives. Um, so it's going to be set at half power and we'll just slowly ramp it up to see how the coreless motor reacts in this particular locomotive. So you can see she just jumps into life. There's absolutely no attempt at a crawl. Nothing to do with the locomotive, it's to do with the coreless motor and the power supply that I'm using. Now I'm going to use um, a different style of motor. This is the uh, Hornby Class 57 railroad model. Now I know this is not a coreless motor it's in this. From memory it's a three pole motor but um, I just going back in memory, I, I don't think this one could do a crawl either. It shot off into life. Um, so let's just remind ourselves how she behaves. Well, actually, it's a lot better than she was. Yeah, she... I mean, it's not as exaggerated takeoff as the G69 steam locomotive. But she still can't do a crawl. It's better slow running wise, um, but not ideal. So the next thing I'm going to do is swap out the controllers. Okay, so I've now uh, connected up the uh, the Gauge Master Model D twin track cased analog controller, and uh, I changed the uh, the type of connection as well. It's on the track, so it's not soldered in or anything, but she's uh, she's pretty secure. So uh, let's test it in reverse order. Let's do the. The, uh, the Hornby Class 57 network rail and of course in reverse so I'm going to slowly increase the power and that's a pretty big difference Let's switch her in the opposite direction. I mean, it is a railroad model, so I'm not going to expect the most amazing crawl in the world, but that's a slower control than we had with the old controller. A little bit coggy. But that's fine. All right, we slowly increase the power. Oh, she is crawling at that. She just stuck on me a little bit there. But that's a, that's a pretty amazing crawl. Yeah. 
yeah, there's just no way I would have been able to do that with the old controller. Yeah, that's fantastic now. Yeah, well worth getting the controller because uh, I think most model rail enthusiasts would agree that um, slow running is probably more authentic than a locomotive go going 120 mile an hour scale speed. Yeah, it's just, it's just sticking. I don't think it's uh, the connection that I've just connected to the track. I think it's more a track cleaning issue. But I am trying to run this at very low speeds. Uh, but I am delighted with that. So that was it, just a quick video to show um, the Gage Master working with the coolest motors and other motors or other locomotives, let's say, that were unable to perform a crawl. So I'm very, very happy with that. So Hope you've enjoyed this episode. If you've got any comments, feel free to uh, add them in the comments section. And uh, thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.